Hello, everybody. Happy Sabbath. Glad you are with me. Very thankful. Thankful for today and all that God has with all his blessings that he gives us. So today I'm going to show you, um, well, I was contacted by someone who said, Danette, I love I love what I love to see what you do, but I find a lot of it complicated. I find that you have to have a lot of supplies. And so she asked me about the stamping aspect of my business and what I do. And so I wanted to share with you a concept. It's just simple stamping. That's all it is. And so I told her that I would be more than happy to go ahead and um, do this. So I want to show you how to do it. Super easy. Um, I am used to doing lots of layers, incorporating patterned paper, colored paper, white paper, adding ribbons and embellishments and, you know, the rhinestones um, and just a bunch of different things. So with that said, um, let me show you what we're going to use. And so whenever you go to do stamping and especially if you're going to color in and you want to keep it simple, I recommend that you use... Um, items that are um, use lined stamps that have clean crisp lines that you can color in and so today we're going to use the painted poppies we're going to use painted poppies and um we're going to use the peaceful moments um sentiments so let's go ahead and get started and let me show you this um I'm hoping this video is not on slow motion again because, well, I have to tell you guys that I shot this video about 15, 20 minutes ago. I was very proud of myself. I had it done in 20 minutes and it was on slow motion. So I had to redo the whole thing. But that's okay because, you know, I got to stamp some more and um, I got to make some more cards. So we're good. All right. So let's get started. So um, I want to show you the stamp sets. Okay. Real quick, I want to go over this with you. Um, these are not wood mounted. There's acrylic blocks that you can purchase. Um, this has the um, the rubber and then the foam to help give you a nice, clean, crisp image. A lot of stamps are not coming wood mounted anymore because of for economical reasons, and they're finding that they're still getting the same quality. Um, so it's been a, really a blessing these past few years to have the non-wood mounted and that you're just using um, acrylic uh, blocks. So that's what this one is. I'll open up the stamp set again and show it to you guys, okay? So you're going to stamp. And real quick, I want to go over the ink. Well, let me get the stamp and then I want to go over the inks with you. So we're doing a nice, clean, crisp um, set. Now I can tell you right here, I'm not too pleased with that middle part right there, but it'll be okay because it's a very busy sign. Um, I need to re-ink this, which you can. And then we're going to stamp the sentiment at the top, just like that. And there you are. Okay. So let's go over inks real quick. All right. So with inks, this is a water-based ink pad for alcohol-based um, pen or markers. So you just need alcohol-based. You can, and so if you have water-based markers, then you're going to need an alcohol-based ink pad. Um, if you use the same two water base and two alcohol, you're going to have a muddy mess because um, they're just going to smear and you're going to be very disappointed. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. All right, we're going to use red, love red, and all I'm doing is just coloring it in. Just real quick, color it in. I'm very thankful the weather has been very beautiful lately. It's been a little chilly, but nothing compared to what we had a few weeks ago, right guys? Thankful for the running water. No broken pipe, no broken pipes on this end. Thank God, thank God. And it's just been everything's been pleasant. All right, so I'm just filling in these lines real quick. If you go out of them a little bit, very forgiving um, 
stamp set, the image. Okay, and we can do this one right here. All right, so now I use the red. It's called Real Red. And this one right here is um, Garden Green. Garden Green is my all-time favorite green, and it complements the whole color palette that Stampin' Up! has. So we're just going to do our green leaves. Just like that. Okay. There we go. All right. So you see how easy that is? Now, if you wanted to, you can take this up a notch and you could outline the um, the stems in green. I did that on some of the cards. I won't do this all um, for you guys today, but I just wanted to give you an idea. Now, I would I love to stamp the inside of the card as well. And the beauty of using the inside, you don't have to do the whole stamped image. We're just gonna kind of stamp off a little bit. Let me show you. Just stamp it up. Just all I'm doing is just inking up this. And we're gonna stamp off a little bit right here. Not use the whole image. Take it away and look how pretty that is. Just half of an image. And then you can go ahead and color it in. You can put another sentiment in. I do find that sometimes I do. I might put some in there. I might put a stamp. I might put in, um, a sentiment in there. But because I write big and I like to write notes, I um, I leave it blank and I, I always sign my name about right here and um, I don't. Okay, so we're gonna fill it in with red. Okay. Just filling it in. And so this project was just nothing but an ink pad, markers, and paper. That's it. And there you go, guys. So you'll close it up and open it up. And I am going to go ahead and put um, some rhinestones on it. I'm going to color them red. That's the beauty also of using, um, getting clear rhinestones is the, um, you can make them any color with your marker, especially if it's an alcohol marker. The water base doesn't work too well, but the, um, the alcohol works beautiful. And so I like to just kind of, just add, kind of create our little picture there. One right there. There we go. Put one right here. There we are. So there you guys got it. And that's it. So this is a real simplistic card. Um, I do want to make these a little bit more red. So this is just sweet and simple and to the point. Look at elegant. You can just use a white envelope and stamp the back part of the envelope or stamp to the side of the envelope. I don't have any here I would show you. Actually, I don't. I wish I did. I don't have any white. But let me show you some of the other colors that I created. So this was just simple stamping. Like I said, you only had three things that we used. Um, paper, markers, stamp set. Well, add on the fourth, um, the ink pad. But sweet and simple. Okay, so here are... The ones that I made. Um, let's see. Here's the pink. So look how pretty those all look together. I smudged a little bit here. And see some of the little smudges you see right here? It is not a big deal. All you got to do is take a rhinestone, put it on there, and you are good to go. Put another rhinestone here. Maybe put a couple of greens. Very pretty. So these, this is just real easy peasy. You guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um enjoyed this and it wasn't overwhelming now let me show you you know i had i couldn't just leave it at that so let me show you ones that i did do some layering on just to show you the contrast what you can do okay 
Okay, so I added, um, I added some solid color. There's no printed papers on this, so I added solid color, um, real red matches the real red um, marker. Um, this color here is called Magenta Madness. It's beautiful pink. I love it. And so everything complements each other. And when I go to do my layering, I just bring them, I just bring all these down a quarter of an inch. Start off from here, five and a uh, five and a half by four and a half. I'm sorry, five and a half by four and a quarter. So I bring it down to five and a quarter by four. And then, you know, three and three quarters by um, five. So I just bring everything down. And um, I did do some die cutting on this, but you don't have to. So you can just see how pretty these both look like that. See how pretty they all just look very pretty together. So there you are. I'm going to try to put this in the camera. I have a new camera set up, guys. I have, um, I bought a ring light. Um, when I did my last video, I didn't like how I had to shake the table and everything. So I have a one that stands off the floor now and now I've got to learn how to use it properly, but I'm pretty excited about the, the phone holder, camera holder, ring light thing. So here's the yellow. This yellow is called um, Melody Mango. So um, layered, non-layered. So this was this was a lot of fun. Really simple, guys. And you see, you guys can go ahead and make so many of these and get them out. Um, don't hoard the cards. Share them. Um, send them to Town Hall Estate. Send them to Chisholm Trail. So many people can use a smile. Give them to teachers. Throw a piece of candy on it. I'm telling you guys, you will make somebody's day by using by by making these cards and letting them know that you think of them. And thinking of you with all of my heart. So that was one of my favorite sentiments. But they're all kind of my favorite. All right. So there's that. Now I want to show you guys a couple of other things that I made. Or one other thing. Um, I like to buy journals and agendas. Of all journals and composition books and notebooks. And whenever like. Christmas is around and especially when we're going back to school I go hit up a lot of Walmarts because when I was at Walmart one um I had gone one morning and they were just putting out all of their um school stuff and I have to tell you guys that I was blown away um when I saw how beautiful some of these papers were and I can look at some of this and I can say oh I have a stamp set that matches that I have gold leafing that would really, that would really look that would look very pretty and so I envision a lot of this um, when I'm out, and that's where I get a lot of my inspiration. So let me show you how perfectly this matched up. This um, stamp set that we used today complemented this already printed um, notebook, and I just added a sentiment. I used, um, I used scripture this time. I had the perfect blues and pinks. This is balmy blue. This is, um, no, this one is pink. I think this one, I'm sorry, this is Blushing Bride. These two colors complemented all these, added a little bit of the gold. I went ahead and just put a piece of gold um, ribbon on a um, clip, black clip. You can also cover the, the black clips in um, paper as well, but I didn't do that this time. So I just added just the, I'll get this more in the camera. Um, I just added the clip onto the top up here. There we go, so you guys can see. Now, and then I created a matching um, bookmark. It has the gold leafing, it has the same flowers. And these were the flowers that I had shown you guys in here that I had used with the die cut. Um, that I had a lot of these left over, because I usually, whenever I'm doing big projects like this, I'll just cut more than I need and use them for another project. So there was that. And then um, I made a, so I made the matching bookmark. And when I make my bookmarks, I do make sure that they are laminated. I have a, um, a laminating machine, but I'm telling you guys, I've shown you in the past, you don't even need to use a laminating machine. If you have packing tape, just use packing tape. And then I always add ribbon on and I always put a charm. So they're durable, they're pretty, and it complements um, the project. 
and then I take a pen and I'll take the RS RSVP pens and you can open them up and slide in a small piece of paper that matches um, whatever it is, whatever you're doing. So I was able to find some black and white striped paper that complemented this right here. And I used that. So I made a four piece uh, matching set, um, give it as gifts. Um, I, I made like 10 of these and I sold them and um, everybody was pleased with them. Those that, those that bought them said this is perfect gift for birthday um, stocking stuffers. So it was fun. So I just wanted to share that with you. One other thing I wanted to go over today with you guys. Um, I want to show you all a kit. Now, I had unboxed this in the other video. And, um, but now it's all open and it kind of looks a little, um, messed up for lack of a better word. But, um, this is called the Paper Pumpkin Kit and this is a monthly subscription. Um, you can buy it month to month or you can buy a subscription. Um, you don't have to, like, say for instance, I have a couple of friends who don't celebrate any of the holidays and that's fine. Um, you can stop it the month before you'll get an idea of what it's going to be. And you can say, no, you know, there's some Halloween in that. I don't want that, but I'll take the Thanksgiving. And so usually the September box will be the Halloween. Don't need that. And so the October box will be the Thanksgiving. Some really beautiful things are in there. And then the November will usually be the Christmas. So you get an idea. Um, like the May, the April one will be for Mother's Day. Um, there's just, there's just a really, just an awesome um, box. So let me tell you what's in it. One way that you can build up your stamps is these are the, these are the um, photopolymer stamps. And this one right here would have been perfect for us to use today. I was hoping, let me see if I can find something black that you can see. Uh, here, maybe this will be a little better for the camera. So this is a bouquet, and you can stamp this one black. This has perfect, beautiful lines with sentiments. This one's more for, um, they, they use this box as like a, um, a sympathy box. And so it has a lot of different sayings for sympathy. Um, but it comes with a set of stamps. So you get the stamps. And this one has eight projects in it. This one has nine. I think I read, I think it was nine cards. This one, um, you get your, you get a little stamping spot. So you can go ahead and also increase your, um, your stash of using the different, um, ink pads. So there's little tiny spots. And what I love about this is you get everything to make these cards. So this card you get enough of everything to make three of this one, three of this one. The quality in this is, is it's high quality. It's very much stamping up and them keeping their standards. Um, nice heavyweight. Look at the, um, look at the die cut on this one. It matches that stamp set. So if you didn't want to stamp, you can just go ahead and use the die cuts. Look at the beautiful gold leafing on this vellum paper and, um, Let's see, there's something else I want to show you guys. Oh, here we go. Look how pretty they had included three of these, like, um, die-cut doilies. So, and this is just, this right here is just showing you what you can do. You can do your own. You can create your own alternatives. So, um, and look at the quality of the envelopes. That's another thing, too. I love about these envelopes. The inside is very pretty. It always complements the, um... It always, they usually complement, always have color in them that complements the set. So, this one right here has a couple of different languages. Um, but the thinking of you, you can use the English. That's what they have on this one right here. So, this is, um, yeah, it's, this one is a, it's a die cut, but they have it as a sticker. So, you can just peel it off and put it on your um, cart. So, it's a set. It's a subscription. Um, 
very, 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 very reasonable. Um, if you guys have any questions, want to know about pricing on it, super reasonable. Just let me know and I'll be more than happy to um, help you out. I thought with some of you who've, who've inquired that this would be a good stepping stone for you guys. Um, just enough, not nothing to overwhelm you. Beautiful instructions. Um, stamp, I mean, it's you get a lot for um, what it costs. And it gives you step by step how to do everything. So, again, this was this looks a little messed up. I was pretty upset that I had to reshoot this. But you know what? I made a couple more cards. So we're good. Um, I will be doing, I do videos for this monthly and then I also offer alternatives to show you how else to use them. Um, creativity is endless. So um, reach out to me if you have any questions. Um, I was glad I was able to share with you today. Um, thankful that um, like someone, you know, and if you guys want to see anything you have, you want to see a technique done, please let me know. And just like my um, friend said, Jeanette, show me how to do the simple stamping. Sure enough, just a few items you need, stuff you might already have at your house. So, um, but if you're interested in any more or have any questions, please, you know, contact me. You can email me or you can text me. Um, it's danettecreates at gmail.com. Or you can also um, text me or you can email me at danettecreates or you can go ahead and um, text me at 770-298-4850. And I will be more than happy to share a little bit more about the subscription. Um, it's great. Or if you want to see technique or um, if you want me to put together a packet beforehand so you can go ahead and do the packet as we do the videos. It's, um, it's up to you. So again, thank you for joining me today. You guys have a blessed rest of your day and I'll see you all in a couple weeks.